Hello friends, welcome you in Research Needs. In this video, we will see how to calculate epithelization days. Here we have taken the previous wound area contraction data and uh, it has completed 25 days. So after completion of 25 days, I am going to write here epithelization. So, epithelization calculation is possible after completion of whole experiment. Here you can see I have given a column name epithelization. Now you can see here day 25 all the maxima and minima readings is available. So, we will write here 25 directly because Experiment terminated on day 25 and no animal reached to 0 up to day 25. So, we will write here 25. Now, we will uh, drag from besides the uh, mean and uh, SEM data and uh, we will give frame to the our table. Now, we will copy it and paste it in second group. Here we have deleted the previous day's readings. Now here we have to observe the readings properly. On day 25, you can see it is getting first time 0. So that day we have to write. On day 20, there are 3 readings, 3 animals showing first time 0. So that day we have to write. The day when Animals first time getting 0, that day we have to write here and accordingly we will do for next day. Here you will see, here you can see on day 20 all are getting 0. So we will write 20 in all. Now we will uh, move ahead and copy this data and uh, paste it for next group and evaluate it. Here reading is same as that of the previous group. Now we will see the final groups. Here each animal's data we will write. You can see on day 20 all animals are getting 0. Only last two animals are getting 0 on day 15. So we will write here. 15. Finally, you can see here we have completed all groups readings. Now we will copy it and paste it in graph at Pizza for epithelization graph and data analysis. Here we will start the graph at Pizza and uh, select the column tab and then everything will remain same and we will here give the group names this is control standards and three test control and this data we will copy from here in graph at one by one so here this is control then standard test one test two and test 3. Finally, now we will go and analyze the data. And we will go analysis in one way and over. And here we will select the multiple comparison and we will compare with the disease control. So now we will see the readings here. Here you can see all are showing significant. So, compared to disease control, now here you can see the graph. On graph, you have to put the stars as per their significant result. So, we will put here first. Significant. We will write here epithelization days. And... Uh, here we have to put the stars compared to the disease control. 
so here i am writing has generally we are not uh, putting has while we have to compare standard with others differently then we are putting only has generally we are putting stars for all in case of normal control comparison with the disease control we are putting has so which here stars for all and now our graph is completely ready now only we have to put the colors all the bars and that's they they should be different from each other now our graph is completely ready this is how we can prepare the utilization graph how was the video please do subscribe and do comment thank you for watching this session